on your face and sing out with me. We're gonna have a good year, just wait and see. We're gonna have a good year, it's true. We're gonna have a good year, me and you. So put a smile on your face and sing out with me. We're gonna have a good year, just wait and see. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome students and families to Centerville Elementary School, where we stick together, love, inspire, and learn. We are ready to start an awesome school year of fun, learning, and growing together. My name is Mrs. Farnell, and I'm the principal of Centerville Elementary School, the home of the Cubs. We are so glad you are here. So in this video, we are going to discuss some need to know basics, talk a little bit about virtual learning expectations, talk a little bit about Schoology, the virtual learning schedule, safety, and what it means to be a good cub, which is someone who's caring, uses safety, is responsible, and shows respect. So what do you need to know? Teachers will be working during this virtual learning time from 8 to 3.30 daily. Boys and girls will be joining through Schoology by 9 a.m. when instruction will begin. Teachers will also be taking attendance via Schoology. So boys and girls, it is very important that you attend Schoology or you let your teacher know if there is an extenuating circumstance. If you go on vacation, make sure to get approval beforehand if you won't be able to get into Schoology. If you won't go on vacation and you are able to continue in Schoology, you are good to go. In the attendance reporting world, an absence is an absence, whether it's for a vacation, medically documented, or any other type of absence. A child is considered chronically absent if they miss 10% or more of the school days that we've been in school for any reason. Make sure that you read through the student and parent handbook that'll be available in Schoology next week for CES students. Read it and either sign and send in the last page to your child's teacher or you can complete the Google form, which will come directly to myself. There is important stuff in there about the school's operations and procedures. If once we come back for a face-to-face -face setting, your child will be a car rider or a pickup, the routine is going to be the same as last year. Once we begin to talk about moving to a face-to-face -face setting, we will send out more information for you to get all set up. We are going to have a change in our dismissal routine. So we are going to use something called Pickup Patrol, which is an app on your phone, and you can download it on your phone and get signed up through Centerville Elementary School. It's going to be contactless and less errors in school dismissal if there's a dismissal change. So once we get closer to a face-to-face -face setting, we'll get you all set up with that as well. So there's going to be some pizza box fun coming your way, boys and girls. It's going to be a manipulative kit for math and for reading. And the pizza boxes will be a great way to keep your school materials neat, organized, and in good condition. It will also contain your Gmail account and your password, which you will need for Schoology. Make sure, if you haven't done so, to sign up for your special meeting time with your child's teacher. This is when you will get the pizza box manipulative kit. Chromebooks, first and second graders, Chromebooks have been ordered. They're not going to be here when school starts, but at least they've been ordered. We're also going to have extra hot spots when they come in at the Board of Education. Your teacher will be collecting connectivity information from you during your special conference time if they haven't done so already. Pre-K and K, I am so sorry, but you will not be issued Chromebooks this year, but you can share an older sibling's or a parent's Chromebook. And hopefully there'll be some nice Chromebooks available once third and fourth grade gets their Chromebooks. Maybe we'll be able to use some of those that are in good condition. 
If you need to access learning at an alternative time, no worries, there, that's okay. There's going to be a video link from your child's teacher with that lesson. And boys and girls, it's going to be a great year. So here are some learning expectations while we're doing this virtual learning thing. So there are expectations for teachers, for students, and for parents. I'm going to pause for a minute just for you to glance over that older family members, moms and dads. Students, make sure that you log into Schoology, that you complete your assignments, that you're honest academically, and that you attend regular check-ins and contact your teacher if need be. Schoology. So boys and girls, you are going to use Schoology to do your learning when you're distance learning. You and your parents will use it together. This is our new learning management system, and this is the platform that your teacher will be using during virtual live synchronous instruction. This is meant to be a single sign-on using students' county-issued Gmails and passwords. This is where most of the learning will take place. This is where you will turn in your assessments and assignments and be able to show what you've learned. The first week of school, your teacher will show you how to get all set up and ease you into the platform. It's very important that teachers have family members correct emails that first week because you might receive a Google Meet invite for the Schoology setup session. Remember, live sessions will be recorded, so you can go on and catch the lesson if you are unable to join it in a live synchronous setting. So this is a very, very, very generic overall virtual learning schedule. I've sent out more specific schedules via School Messenger, and your child's teacher will also send classroom-specific schedules as well. But generally, you can tell from this that synchronous or live instruction will take place between 9, 30, 9 and 1230. Second graders, you're going to be done closer to 1 o'clock. Now, this doesn't mean you're online from 9 to 1230. Not all of this time is going to be spent online. You will be clicking in and out of Schoology for whole group lessons and small group instruction for reading and math. So within this 9 to 1230 block, there will be times for boys and girls to complete their work independently, to take breaks, to get a snack, to get some movement in. So while we are in this pandemic of COVID-19 that we're in, it is so important to be safe, particularly when you're at home and even when you're in the building for some small group instruction. Boys and girls, moms and dads, if you enter the building, you must wear a mask at all time. Ages three and up are required to wear a mask unless there is a specific reason that you can't and your guardians, your moms and your dads, will make sure that there is a doctor's note for that. Boys and girls, it is important to keep six feet apart and social distance at all times. It's also important, whether you're home or at school, to wash your hands regularly and clean and sanitize your learning spaces. If you enter the building for any reason, it's very important to complete the self-check-in with an adult, or if an adult is coming to the building, it must be with an appointment to maintain safety for everyone. This is something you will become familiar with, guardians and family members. This is called a student school process map for COVID-19 or it's like a flow chart to help guide you in making decisions about school. You will get this um, in the CES student parent handbook and the county issue handbook. And I'm also going to send it out through either a school messenger or through Schoology. If you have any questions about it, give us a call. 
Teachers will have this, the secretaries, the school nurse, leadership, and myself will have this as well to be able to try to answer any questions that you may have. Be sure to print it and use it as a guide. Centerville Elementary School is a PBIS school. PBIS stands for Positive Behavior Interventions and Supports. As you know, at CES, we are the Cubs. And by the way, it's not a bear cub, it's a lion cub. And Cubs stands for Be Caring, Use Safety, Be Responsible, and Show Respect. We are proud to be a gold award PBIS school again this year. And when you come back to a face-to-face -face setting, you will see posted behavior expectations all around the school. But for now, we're going to follow this virtual learning set of expectations that your teacher will help you learn once you get into your virtual classroom. We're not going to let virtual learning stop us from doing our monthly fun events. So in September, if you earn 30 tokens or 30 cubby paws, you're going to be able to participate in a show and tell. Then in October, we're going to have a class monster mash dance. In November, as a class, we'll all join in and do the turkey hokey pokey. And in December, your class will take an awesome virtual field trip. Hopefully, we will return together by January and then do these awesome fun activities for the rest of the year. We are also going to move ahead with our character counts. All schools in Queen Anne's County participate in celebrating character. The six pillars are listed on the screen for you. We are still in need of Character Counts volunteers, so please consider becoming one, whether you want to do that virtually or wait until we come back together face to face. If you're interested, please contact Mrs. Holthouse. Usually when we're in a face to face setting, we have monthly student awards for character. We're still going to hold those in a virtual format. So if your teacher nominates you for the first character pillar of the month, your family member will be invited to a special assembly held virtually. Some important information, back to school announcements. If you haven't done so, please make sure you complete your 2021 back to school forms. That's important information for us. So we're updated with everything to make sure that your child is safe. Right now, we have around 96% of our family members who have completed that. Let's make it 100. Also, if you're interested in that pickup pick up patrol for more information, you can visit www.pickuppatrol.net. I do believe that is the end of the welcome back to school. Again, my name is Mrs. Farnell, and I can't wait to meet you boys and girls. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to having an awesome, awesome 2020-2021 school year. Thank you, boys and girls. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.